three. As you can see, we're back in Skellige. Well, saying that we never left. We're on the quest of possession. So we have to look for Ceres in uh, the abandoned home. So, um... Let's have a look. I mean, where is... To host on Crate's daughter. There we go. <laughs> I mean, they're talking about it all. Might as well run. I mean, there's no point getting the horse so. out. Quick jog over this gloomy, gloomy place. Uh, I remember. It's a little bit of a haunted area. Do that. Why does it, it do that to me? Really? Just water. Sarah's. He sounds a fucking loud. Gotta get her out of here. There's gonna be something out there, isn't there? Nope. I'm just gonna randomly appear through the window. Where am I? Oh my head. Pain's just awful. Got hit with something heavy. Geralt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Croc's worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword. Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back. You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. Mm. I have to. You have to tell me what's going on. Yeah, this is a good point. So what's, what's this sword point? all about? It's Brockvar, the ancestral sword of Udlerik's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Udlerik. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udlerik and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udlerik. But his father gave Brockvar to his little brother, Aki. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udlerik to break a sacred law here in Skellige. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udlerik to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Mm -hmm. Got a feeling this trip didn't end happily. Your feeling's right. There was an accident. A storm Accident. broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udlerik had his hands full with the sails. He didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. Hmm. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, folk have said Udlerik's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once, but now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. Hmm. Daring theory. Not breaking any of your laws just by thinking it. Don't care. I don't believe it's the gods talking. Have you seen him? He's covered in scars. Thought he earned those in battle. If you call the strife in his heart and head a battle, I've asked him about it. He said the voices command him to hurt himself for the glory of the gods. Hmm. I think not. It's not the gods. It's Aki. So you believe Aki's oh getting God. his revenge because Udlerik let him die? <coughs> I talked to Yort. He swears Udlerik didn't start hearing voices till after hmm. Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys I were the sword, though. I think we need to give Brockvar to Aki. And he'll leave Udlerik alone. Not a bad idea. On condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea. Said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udlerik both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udlerik? No chance. You're weak. Might pass out again along the way. Wait here. We'll go together. Okay, well, we'll 
we do that? Um, are we are we really going back in the fucking hills? So yeah, nothing. Okay. See, there's an upstairs, and there's. A, do we go upstairs or do we go downstairs first? Let's look in here. Loot, key to cellar. There we are. It's bound to be in the cellar. Why is there just literally just storings of water? Let's double check everything. I think, uh, as we've been kind of noted towards it being downstairs, let's go and do the complete opposite. And go. Oh, can we not? We can't even go upstairs, can we? No, we can't do that. Yep. I mean, I just saw the marker down there. Why won't it open? Here we are. Let's make that a torch. There we are. See, technically... I would be tempted to use the Inquisitor. What is this about? Um, oh, yeah, I'd be tempted to use the Proquisitor or whatever the fucking thing is. I don't want to spook myself. I found it. Let's go. After you then. <laughs> you and my da, you were mates once, right? Hope we still are. But, well, I heard you fell out over something or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In mm. fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. That you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. <laughs> Maybe uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease, the calm and the quiet. It would be quite true. We've finally got ourselves a grill. Come on. Oh, I'm a moment to lead the way. I'm assuming that he's down here. May your axe never crumble. Where where actually where actually is he? I'm assuming he's this way. I'm gonna say that he's in this big thing. By that I mean a house. Oh um, yeah, he's just kind of uh, Where is Yennefer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Nothing, not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Hmm. Look, there they are. Horridly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl. Our guests, remember. Let's just what happened come to your first. Hand? I sacrificed it to the gods. Forgive him, Jarl. Geralt's got more to learn about our customs. We're close to the gods in Skellige. And the chummier you are, the greater the offering you make. It's our belief that the greatest thing a man can offer is his pain, his suffering, the pure sacrifice. To hear the gods is a gift, not a sacrifice. Hmm. These voices you hear. The gods, their voices. It's not the gods. Watch your words, Farner. You're in Skalliger, our land, and we revere the gods here. If you weren't on Kreit's guest. Jarl, the Witcher surely meant no offense. Let us hear what he has. 
eyes to see. More likely, this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... Hmm. I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Well, you can't be afraid about it. You, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. Heed the Witcher Jarl. Make amends to Aki and you'll surely please the gods. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Ulula's needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's return to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods. They'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you. And they loved Aki. Exactly. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. Hmm. Never end in shame, that Diana's chowder. Nope, he does not want to turn up, nope. Come on, Roach. There he is. Ooh, I nearly ran straight past him and down the side of a cliff. Face Brock Barn, yeah, his bones. Run, Roach. Um. When you when I'm on your back, you won't go down there. Let's but when go. I get off, you will. Let's get these guys. Oh, come on. There we go, we got this as a lesser green. Must be the place. Oh shit, Roach is being hit. <laughs> oh well, he's a distraction. Um, let's go. Note. You the ring attack and an apple. Um Let's actually swim towards the marker. Yeah, there's something here. Could we get up to the surface for now? targeting us at the moment. Is there no like beach we can get to? Yeah. Yeah, 
There we are. Problem is you can't kind of... Jump. But yeah, you can't, like, block attacks and it's really fucking difficult to... Oh my god. Slightest movement. We're four over, so what did I pick up? Assassin's trousers, see they're actually pretty crap. Let's just drop them again. They're pretty crap. To be fair, they're also pretty crap. Let's go down and see if we can spot you on. Oh, there's another fucking siren. How many fucking sirens are there? Gonna be. I'm also struggling to spot this guy. Oh, here we go. Something over here. I take it that that literally is all we need to do. Fuck off, Siren. I hope we're near to the top. Oh god, this is gonna be close. Just leave. Roach is still here. Or is that just a normal horde? Oh, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Get your fucking sword out. Let me out. Come on, let's go. There was a path down here the whole time. Oh well. What is this? Hmm. Rudolph. The voice has commanded him to poke out his eye. What? Why do you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice. For Aki. No. What did the gods want, exactly? Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry. A voice said, you vile wretch. You didn't help Aki. And now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye. Suffer and regret the evil you've wrought. Hmm. When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. It was then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. Hmm. The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams, at times I see their form when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. Hmm. The gods always demand you offer them your suffering. Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. The gods always demand Oops, you offer them your... Only that... Hmm. The gods ever show you their form, or are they always just a shadow? Once, 
I steeled myself, gathered my courage, and in my dream made my torch burn bright. I saw a hazy figure sitting in shadow then. Hmm. I returned the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. He's a bit of a weirdo, isn't he? Well, know what it is? It's a Heim, a post-conjunction creature. Very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Himes force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work. In theory. There's the witch's way. Let's go for the witch's way. Witcher's bestiaries say you have to spend a night in the Heim's lair with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you've slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. Mm. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udelric. It won't be an easy fight. What's this other way? They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Well, maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. I know you're doubtful. But we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? Hmm. Udelric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udelric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udelric could just... expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes exactly. Ulrich, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you. Hmm. And what about the other method? It sounds the like Heim's a lot a of demon. a safer the demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. Hmm. Exactly. Both methods seem risky, but I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. If we fail to think of anything, we can always try the Witcher's way. Hmm. What is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. Nothing. I've just noticed that you're often of one mind. Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight or a tough Witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. Hmm. Okay, she's what right, Jennifer. So, shall we try trekking it first? Yeah, let's. Good decision. Haunted house, the Heim's lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you, then. Hmm. No reason to delay. Let's do this. Oh, 
Alright guys, thank you ever so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, if you did, you know what to do, hit that like button, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel, you know, as always, I really hope you enjoyed, and...